Use the remainder theorem in synthetic division to find f of k for the given value of k. We have f of x, which is equal to negative 2x cubed minus 8x squared minus 7x minus 7, where the given value of k is equal to negative 3. So the first thing we're going to do is do this by uh, synthetic division. So we have negative 3, and then we have the coefficients of our polynomial, and we do not have any missing terms, so we have negative 2, and then negative 8, negative 7, and then negative 7. So when doing synthetic division, we're going to bring down the negative 2. And we're going to multiply negative 3 times negative 2 gives us positive 6. And then negative 8 plus 6 is going to give us negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is going to give us positive 6. Negative, six plus, negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And negative 7 minus 3, or it's negative 7 plus 3, is going to give us negative 4. And therefore, that's going to represent our remainder. So there's the remainder. And that's by using synthetic division. Okay, now if we want to use the remainder theorem, we're going to find f of negative 3. Okay, and then we're going to plug it into the function. So that means we're going to have negative 2 times the value of negative 3 cubed minus 8 times negative 3 squared minus 7 times negative 3 minus 7. So the first thing we're going to do in order of operations is exponents. So we have negative 2 and negative 2 times negative 3 cubed. Well, negative 3 times negative 3. So keep in mind, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. So this gives us negative 27 minus 8 times negative 3 times negative 3 is going to give us positive 9 minus 7 times negative 3 minus 7. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do multiplication. Negative 2 times negative 27 is going to give us 54, or positive 54. Minus 8 times 9 is going to give us minus 72. Minus 7 times negative 3 is plus 21, and then that's minus 7. Okay, next we're going to take 54 and subtract 72 which gives us negative 18. We're going to add 21 and then minus 7. Well, negative 18 plus 21 is going to give us positive 3. And then positive 3 minus 7 gives us negative 4 as the remainder. So we got negative 4 as the remainder. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Negative 4. And there's our result.